Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, we are going down to New Orleans and we're gonna try some chips. These are the Zaps potato chips, New Orleans style, New Orleans kettle style, spicy Cajun crawtators. Um, we picked these up at the grocery store. The packaging looks very intriguing and the name, Crawtator, and there's also a crawdad holding a potato chip at the top, so. So what is a crawdad? A crawdad is um, a crick shrimp. I was gonna say, isn't that like a crawfish? <laughs> you know, is, it, it, <laughs> is that the official name, name for them, crawfish? Uh, maybe, I've what? never called them that though. It's always just been a crawdad, Yeah, so. but she's from like the, the south, <laughs> and like, you know, they, they have all kinds of names for them, like, the coon. <laughs> I, I had no idea it's just a raccoon. You didn't know I thought that? it was like some sort of like special animal you find in rural America. Oh wow. Now, I mean, I now know this, but years ago, I thought it was like a, a unique animal. Wow. Then I found out it's just a freaking raccoon, the lovable <laughs> raccoon that everyone's eating, which, yeah. no, not cool, man. <laughs> and so this is interesting because we've actually reviewed um, at least twice Chips. Shrimp chips. Yeah, with actual uh, shrimps in the chips. Yeah. And so that's what I was thinking with these, but apparently I think it's just the spices that they use when they eat crawfish. Yeah, exactly, because there doesn't seem to be on like the, the ingredient list any sort of fish product. So I'm a little happy about that, honestly, because I don't particularly love me some crawdads. Now, here's an interesting thing about this brand, because if you've seen some of our other videos on potato chips, we told you there's a chip war going on because for the longest time, Frito-Lay has been the big dog. And there's, of course, in you know cities, there's like a, like a local- Regional. Regional brand or whatever, or just a local in that particular city. But Frito-Lay has been the dominant company but the past couple years there's been consolidation and now guys we're in the midst of a chip war it's getting heated and this is going to be interesting yeah and if you guys are new to our channel basically we review everyday grocery items so before you spend your hard-earned money let us tell you if it's worth it and zaps is apparently a subsidiary of utes the two utes <laughs> the, the two, two utes, utes. Tell us where that is from, which movie it's from, and uh, you'll get a thank you from us. Let's go for it. <laughs> if you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Hey guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up, we'd buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, it is a thumbs down. This says it's spicy, and I would not really say it's spicy. Um, here's a big issue with this thing. It's very salty. Really? Yeah, it's really salty and it's just hard to eat because of that. Hmm. And so for that reason, thumbs down. Huh. Okay. So for me, this is going to be a thumbs down, but I don't hate it. Number one issue for me is the kettle chip. I don't always love kettle chips. Sometimes I feel like they're a little bit too crunchy. I feel like this one airs on the side of too crunchy. So that's just personal preference for me. I don't typically love a super thick crunchy chip and this is that. However, my other big issue with it is I don't actually feel like it's super salty, but maybe it is. I do feel like it's a little spicy. Like my tongue is a little bit spiced right now. Um, my thing is though, even though there's a lot of seasoning on it and I can taste the seasoning, maybe I either don't love the mix of seasoning or something because I feel like it's not quite flavorful enough. It's almost a little bit bland, even though it is spicy and does have a little saltiness to it. Like something is just not jiving with the flavor for me. I think part of the problem is it's not airy like other potato chips. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit thicker. Yeah, well, it is a kettle chip, so yeah. that's probably why, but. But we've had kettle chips that are uh, much more airy than this. Yeah, we have. I think it was the, the um, I forget, it was Creek something, I think. But that one was pretty good. Yeah. Um, this one though, this... just something off about it. Yeah, it's, I feel like this is um, just very like 
subpar, man. Yeah. Not that good. Mm -hmm. To sum it up, guys, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.